Hi and welcome to Python tutorial. In this very session, I'll just uh, show you guys how to convert pound to kilograms and so on. Okay, supposing we want to convert from pound to kilogram, we enter whatever you want to convert in there and just click on convert, and that is what you get. And right here, you also see a feedback telling you what you just converted convert from pound to a kilogram equals that and if you want pound to stone that is it okay stone to pound that's what you get and supposing we want to just clear it clear everything and just let's convert from kilo kilograms to stone there and so on so what i'm going to do now is take you guys straight into a fresh new program and we put one of these together and see how it's done okay so let's go into start new program so the first thing i'll do now is to import as follows so i will now give my product a name right just say equals okay all right the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to define my the frame how I want the frame to look like right there that's my frame and let's just close that run this program so that you see how the frame looks okay so right here I've just closed the program so I make it loop as well so let's save this first and uh, we just have a look at how it looks like okay that's the name right there I've just saved it as kilo let's move it up so that you can see it pound to kilo two all right saved okay then so let's run it now let's see what we've done wrong okay i think what is missing is is the dot sign so we're gonna just say that we have to be careful we don't forget those okay right there that is how the interface looks. So I will now add a title up here. Okay, and this one I will divide it into three. This one will be empty, and this we have with display. It's just like a feedback in here anyway. And right underneath here, you can see this one frame here is not that visible. That's it, that's the frame. So I will include buttons in there. Okay, let's declare my variables. Okay, the next thing is uh, let me enter the variables. Those are the variables I intend to use. Okay, here we go. Now, I now need to create some widgets. Okay, let's let's put those widgets in place anyway. And the first widget I intend to create will be the title widget. There we go. So I'm going to save that. That's the title widget. Let's save it. Run and I'll save and run. Right there. Okay. Pound conversion calculator. That's the title. So the next widget will be. Next widget will be the widget combo box okay entry box and label so maybe i should just save let's save it and see how it looks like for now all right that's how it looks like for now okay and nothing much is happening and uh, in the combo box i've entered the following pound to kilometer kilometer to pound Pound to stone, stone to pound, kilometer to stone, 
stone to pound those are the components you guys just saw now and the widget right there okay now let's close that and continue other widgets i intend to create will be the just like the display widgets let's do that all right underneath here i'm gonna enter the display widget there we go those are the lines of code for the display widget here this one will just give me some space and that is the widget uh, because I don't intend to use this I commented it out so let me just delete it anyway and if I run it now let's run it and see right there that's how it's looking now the next widget will just be the be for this right one okay let's come down here right let's place that underneath here okay so this widget will go to the right of the screen so if i run it this is what you guys will see there okay and now finally i need some buttons there to carry out the calculation okay i'm still going to delete all of this because uh, i don't really need it now the next widget will be widget buttons those are the button widgets there okay defined and if i run it now there they will go now because I already have that in there let me get rid of those so that uh, get rid of the reset as well and this as well save then let's run the program again right I have those buttons in place before they weren't doing nothing the buttons weren't in place and there was an error okay let's let me go back there so undo those delete so i intend to create three of those these three commands let's put those command right underneath here and right underneath the variables here we enter as follows those are the lines of code for the widget calculation okay and let's just maybe this is supposed to be the equivalent okay in kilometers so one pound equals 0 0.4536 all right so that is it there then use it to carry out the calculation here and here i have 2.2041 2, uh, it's equivalent to one pound okay then i've commented all out so those are the lines of code for the conversion okay so let's come in here and enter the following method anyway those are the m method exit and reset so this method here i'm going to copy this let's come down here where it says command converts okay there we go there they are yeah. so if I run the program now okay and this is how the program looks so I can select any of these let's say we go for pound to kilo and enter how many pounds we have in there so that means we want to convert 46 pounds to kilograms so what would that give us it actually give us 20.9 kilograms and here we just see the information it's like a feedback that tells you convert from pound to kilogram equals this so with that guys 
I'm going to call it the end of the program. I suppose you all enjoy it. And um, just before that, let me just show you guys the codes one more time. So right here, you import as follows. Name your project. And that's supposed to be my, or that's my frame. Or I have about four, five frames in there in total. And here I have my variables declared and this is where I carried out all of the calculations okay there they are have a good look at it you can always get the, the equivalent or you can always get the formula to of this conversion online and that's the exit reset that's the title those are the widgets the middle widget the left hand widget and here I have the buttons okay I have uh, the right hand widget here here I have the buttons so if I run it again let me run it again now you see enter whatever in there right there so without i'm gonna say bye for now